up um, ideally to host just one group in this building. So everyone that would be sleeping here at any given time, especially in the retreat season, would be part of the same group. It could be done where we could host a, a few small uh, groups, maybe of, of 10 or 12 in two rooms uh, each down here and then they could eat together upstairs. But really the building is itself, at least the retreat space downstairs, is designed to host one group together. That said, the whole building with the dining hall upstairs uh, serving 100 in the wintertime gives us the ability to house one group in the Bach House, one group here that will eat together upstairs, potentially um, maybe even one big group that's separated into those two buildings but all eats together upstairs. So it gives us some flexibility with group sizes, um, but really the, the, group, uh, the building is designed to, down here in the lower level to house a group up to, it can sleep up to 44 people total in all of these four rooms, um, with this room being the biggest. Uh, but like I said, we could break it up if needed. In the summertime, this building will be used mostly for canoe country groups or uh, guest naturalists or in-house residents, um, uh, artists or volunteers or pastors that come. Um, but m the main priority for this in the summertime will be canoe groups staying down here before they leave and when they come back, in addition to staying at the Bach House, so that we've got groups at, at both places.